eight, the six column worksheet. Now, after we're done with the journal, I mean, when you do a general journal, you do a ledger, and after you do the ledger, you do something called a worksheet, which is, in, in this case, we give it a six column worksheet, because that means we have another worksheet coming, la coming uh, later. The chapter eight uh, has uh, two sections. One is preparing the worksheet and one completing the worksheet. So we're going to prepare it and we're going to complete it. So the way it works, for example, let me show you, for example, where are we now? So we are at step number six in the accounting cycle. So accounting cycle has, a, remember, nine steps. So we are in step number six, which is preparing the worksheet. Look what, how, what we did before. In the chapters before, we were doing the collecting and verifying the, the source document. Then we analyzed it by using a T-account, for example. And then we did the journalizing. All right. So, and then we did the posting. And then we did the trial balance. Okay. So, and then now we're going to be doing the worksheet. So the worksheet has in it six columns. And I'm going to show you what are those columns. Uh, this is the column that you're going to have. Okay, so we have something called a trial balance, where we take uh, the balance uh, from each ledger, and we could plug it in uh, depending on the, which one is a debit, which one is a credit, and then we continue. This is going to take us a couple of weeks at least, at least, so because it has more work than the other other chapters. Um, now the next one here is when you want to complete it, which is means what? You want to finish the income statement and you want to do the balance sheet. So the income statement usually only has in it revenue and expense. And the balance sheet has everything else but revenue and expense. So that's an easy way to memorize it. Let's take all, all the revenues and expenses. And then when you come to the balance sheet and text the remaining accounts that you haven't used. So now at the end, you're going to have a balance. So the trial balance has to be equal. The income statement, no. I mean, we're hoping we have more pro more uh, revenue than, than expense. And those ones also will not be equal, right? So, but we need, we'll, we'll force them to be equal at the end just to make sure that, you know, uh, everything matches with what we did. Now look at here. So now you see, because after adding the profit here, we can see that the two columns are equal, and then after adding the amount in the capital, uh, we see the two accounts are equal, the two, uh, two columns are equal. So now we continue here. Oh yeah, here we could show, we probably have some net loss instead of net profit. So maybe our expenses is higher than our prior, our revenues. So that means we have a net loss in, in our case. So, uh, and that's it, that's, that's the whole chapter. But like I said, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of work, so it will probably take us a couple of weeks. Okay, guys, bye-bye.